okay you can see now that we can't really go ahead because the version we have on uh, map is different from the version that we want to use so whatever application you're using we're using Drupal if you're using whatever application you might still fall into get into this um, others and you need to clear it so the only way we have to do it is that we have to update the map to a newer version and for we to do that I already have something written here on uh, my github please follow me very important to subscribe um so here we have is you can see add php version map um how to change or add new php version to map just type it case called the 2 and it will appear first thing you do if you don't have php already um sorry i'm taking you back to terminal so if you don't have php uh, before now just enter this um view installed php then check which php or don't use the version to see which version we have so i will run that on my end now so we can see um we can see what php we have php version you can see i have 8.13 so that's what i have here um and you can see it's above the required group uh, version so for that to happen we need to update it if you go to a map that we already have here you can see we have 0 0.8 and also uh, 4.7 which will not work for it for the application you're trying to use so to update that let's go back once you've done that you've seen that it's um 8.1.13 depending on the version you're using you can come on to step one so step one is for you to go to this location this location i'll just use i'll go to a uh, finder your map um so let's say i'm in documents or apps or something so i just go to go to there's a go to go or at the top and look for go to folder so i don't really move ahead you just go there and please enter it takes you here you can see the direct folder of the php version you have here copy it that's the first step you copy it you go back to our document what did they say we should do next we navigate into this uh, parts applications map bean and then php if you want to do that it's also fine if you want to go through it so i already have applications here I just go to map this is map then i go to bean and inside bean i have a php so i just paste it here um paste so you can see it's trying to paste 1.11 so if you go to your map currently and try to get it even if you restart you stop it and then because most people fall into that uh, issue where they stop it they try to check it they can even close it um let me first close this first quit it so they try to quit it and the map for quit it by the time you start it again up you you'll be thinking you have it already you can see here that nothing is there is not showing the reason it's not showing is that we've not completed the other steps there are the modules that it requires to work and for that we need to go to the next step which is step three um you can see rename it so you need to first rename that what you just did to this add a php on it whatever version yours is yours might be 1.2.0 5.0 4 8.5 1 8. whatever it is just ensure that you add something to it so we'll go back you can see here is just 8.11 which is not what we need right click it uh right click and then go to rename and add on it the php on it this way enter so it's fine we're done here even at this it will not still work so the next thing you do let's go to the next step the next step is for you to go to this folder you can see those directly i'll go back to my directory and then go to let me open another directory so that we don't have to um yeah so let me go to another directory go to i go to this enter it and then click enter so i can see the modules folder here i copy this modules folder and sure i copy it properly 
and I go into this back into the space. Right click it, just right click. So I just right click and say paste item. So you can see now there's a modules folder inside of this. You can see it, and it has the lib php dot um, so file. If you go to the last part, that is it. You copy it. You copy this. See the modules folder as well. You copy. Navigate to this which we have, which is step six, and paste that module folder. Final step: you close and restart your map. Um, this will be on the drop down as you go. Please ensure you subscribe. Very important. Please ensure you subscribe. So I'll just go back to this map. Let me close it. I've done all I need to do. I close it. Uh, close this. Then I will start my map and let's see what happens. So close, we we'll click and then we can see, wow, the 1.8.13 is already there. By the time we do that, I'll say OK and click um, start. So when you click start on it, uh, you are good to go. So you are now on 8.13. So whichever one you're using is very easy for you to pick out and also update it as you go very very important and it's something you need to uh, work with so as to have other applications run um many applications will not run if it is not 8.1 um okay so that being said we we'll go to the next uh, session here which is we coming back to application uh please follow me subscribe uh, on it and also you can see me here on youtube on youtube i'll see my channel on youtube uh, my channel you can see my channel here just check it out and then please uh, follow me subscribe uh, very important and um, you get to see more videos as you go uh, please subscribe so yes we'll go back to where we last left up i think it is here yeah so where it tells us that we cannot so what we just need to do is to click on refresh it click refresh and let's see what happens wow we're there so it is up and running you click on next uh next then you come in here uh, what's the, the name we used here i think this is it so you can pick it up um sorry come in here enter the database name i think is root um i think there's no password and then we can click oh uh, let's see password is root password is um okay let's go back here users settings settings i will see okay we'll try to reconnect that's how we stay up well, just trying to restart so that we can have let's go back go back to the tools check here access denied um, okay i think we're using let me go back Let, let's try this let's try the password i have okay so it's taking my default mysql passwords and then if you have a password before that's fine if you don't have a password it's good just note that you just need to enter a password for it so um in another lecture we can see how we can change this from the uh, console from the uh, config aspect and then we can go ahead so here we just do uh testing my new Drupal 10 enter the email let's do same thing password confirm your password and uh, select your country we Nigeria we in Lagos Nigeria check this and then you're good so yeah we're in you can see it's everything is fine working very very fine our stretcher appearance extent um this that everything is working very very fine so um this is pretty much it how you can run through 
all the steps please don't ensure you subscribe and then you also subscribe to my gates and also my youtube and please give positive comment give comments that will make others uh, get to utilize this video um, thank you very much as we go along i'll get to update you more on other aspects of it thank you and enjoy